goblins. They're going to kill us all. They killed everyone. My brothers and our five guards. They speared me good, left me for dead. I crawled here after they left. The new kings got them all riled up, ready to attack Port Hunding and wipe out the town. Kill their king. They won't attack the town without him to lead them. Bring me his crown so I know the bastard's dead. I try to make it to town, unless the goblins kill me first. I just need to gather my strength and hobble back to town. Get that goblin king and bring me his crown if you can. We actually went looking for them, if you can believe that. We'd heard they had a new king and he was stirring up trouble. We figured we could handle them, but there were too many for us. No good. Bosek will never believe it. He's a suspicious bastard, and will think we're trying to trick him somehow. He'd have our heads on pikes. I'm too fond of my head to risk it. Unlock the door. Now we can retrieve my gem. I unlocked the door. Now we can retrieve my gem. I'll see you inside. It's as pretty as a thing can be, and as big as my two fists. They store everything on the upper level. This is the part where I trust you. I'll kill the goblins in the scaffolding in the next room. You grab the gem. It's in a chest on the floor. There's a passage on the far side. Take that and meet me outside. 
If something goes wrong, regroup at the inn in town. Over here, I have a question for you. What were you doing in the mine? And did you see a scummy Breton up there? Yakarn. He's a liar and a thief. He stole a gem from headman Bosek. Now if the gem came back, Bosek might let him live. Can you help me, or not? Now that's just too bad. If you do run into him again, tell him that if we catch him, he's dead. the Goblin King? By kind, you did it. I've been expecting them to attack the town any minute. Bosek tossed me out when I tried to warn him. Said he'd have my head if I didn't shut up. He'll never know you saved his town for him. If it's not goblins, it'll be something else tomorrow. I swear this town is cursed. They kicked me out. They heard Bosek threatened me. They don't want to risk his fists storming in to arrest me. If you're looking for that bastard Jakan, he's at the tavern with a Red God girl. I overheard him telling a Red God girl he'd whisk her off to Sentinel, that he was a ship captain. She swooned like a fool, like I did. I'd tell the headman where he's hiding if I didn't hate the headman more. I need off this island. Glad to see you made it out. Hey now, the headman stole it first, and you brought it back to me, didn't you? Thanks, good looking. Yes, yes I do. I know someone on the island who can make us both rich. If you're up for another job, I think it's time you met her. Help me! They're after me! The sea drakes! When it gets foggy, like last night, they play tricks with the lighthouse, lure ships aground. The Maiden's Breath, my ship, they lured us in and wrecked us. Drowned or captured, Captain Larissa's looking for them. You heard of crafty Larissa, right? Anyway, I'm through. No more sailing for me. You want to find the captain, just look for her monkey, Howler. Aren't at all what I was expecting. What happens later? 
Let's talk. What brings you to this trash pit? Sneak up on you? That's what I do. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? Oh, charming. The maidens wrecked on the sandy shore. As for crafty Larissa, you found her. Just in time, too. Captain Helene's sea drakes have my crew. I won't leave without them. Help me rescue them, and I'll owe you a favor. We're going to disguise my crew as sea drakes. Take these clothes. Look for a portly Breton, a sour red guard, and a big orc. The drakes are keeping them in the large buildings. Once they're out, meet me by Helene's ship. Look for hampers with clothes, or kill a sea drake and take theirs. Put on their clothes and you'll look just lovely. Oh, do watch out for the sea drakes with torches. They're not drunk. If you get too close, they'll spot you and alert the others. Remember, you can take clothes from hampers or off-dead sea drakes. I believe oh, and I try not to get killed. Don't beat me again! Thank the eight! I thought I'd die in here! Helene came by not long ago. Told me to look forward to a public slaying. Then she beat me bloody, laughing the whole time. She's one cold witch! Stay away from Helene. She's a monster! Choke and die, Sea Drake. I'll spit on your grave. I knew she wouldn't leave me to rot. Quick, untie me. The Sea Drake spent the past few hours breaking my fingers. I can't wield a sword, but I can still strangle a few on my way out. These Sea Drakes give pirates a bad name. Kill every last one of them you see. Don't know who you are, but you better run if you don't want the Sea Drakes to gut you. Ha! Huh. Another of Helene's tricks. Let me go, then chase me down and beat me within an inch of my life. I'll chance it and make a run for Port Hunding. See how far I get. Word of advice. Don't let them capture you. If you can't get away, die fighting. Welcome sight. I've rescued every- You're a welcome sight. I've rescued everyone but Crenard, Hairden, and Meekog. Any luck? Almost done then. Everyone's out except my first mate, Deragor. They've got him in the belly of Helene's ship. You'll find the keys below deck. Look for Daragor down and back. I'll be visiting Helene in her cabin to thank her for the hospitality she's extended my crew. Come on up after you release Daragor. You should really say hello. Her cabin girl had a key. Poor little Bosmer lass. Barely any meat on her bones. I think Helene was starving her. She's on her way to Port Hunding now, and I'm one key richer. Good trick, that. Did I really disguise myself as a fern? 
Or did you see a fern because you weren't looking close enough? I'm not telling you anything, scum! What have you done with Captain Larissa? Yeah? Ha! <laughs> I knew she got away! Helene said she was being keel-hauled and beaten, but I knew better. They don't call my Captain Crafty for nothing. Get me out of these ropes, and let's get out of here. Captain Larissa never leaves anyone behind. Make sure she's safe. Good. Me? Did I do that? Her starving little cabin girl may have poisoned her drink. Who can say? Did Daragor get out? I'll just be going then. I told my crew to gather on the beach. I'm going to make sure they all made it out. Meet me there and we'll square up. My crew's safe, and only a little bit tortured. I call that a win. Many a captain who sails these waters will be glad of that news. Now, let's talk favors. I owe you a big one. If the Maiden's breath wasn't rotting on the beach, I'd happily oblige, considering all you've done for us. But no ship, no ride. I do know someone who might give us a job, though. A job that just might get us both off this rock. <laughs> 